the best is such a curious creature to look her in the face. A transport may reward us or a disgrace. Am I taking some? During World War II, the United States was afraid of Germans or Japanese attacking from Mexico. So, the Office of Esoteric Services hired a Spanish-speaking woman to listen in on phone calls between Mexico and the US and record any suspicious conversations. They call this woman the invisible airport strings or the glamour girls of the OSS. My name is Priscilla Morales Janis. In 1942, I was a telephone spy. I worked with other spies who were my sisters. We were sisters because instead of being with our mothers, our children, or our husbands, we spent all day with each other in a basement. Okay, Suits and Broadway, downtown San Diego. In 1942, this was the San Diego Trust Bank. In the basement, me and my sisters work as telephone spies. Now, it is a nightclub. Cut. This is the house where I lived when I was a telephone spy. 21, 29, National Avenue. 75 years later and someone else lives here. And I'm dead. And most of my sisters are dead. We are sisters still because we have secrets between only us. Now, we are in a garage in Tijuana. We will pretend this for a real location. The nightclub will not give us permission to shoot in their basement, so. There are two stories. I enjoy telling my family. I will tell a story about John Wayne calling his German girlfriend of his in Tijuana. John Wayne was married and having an affair with Marlene Dietrich, but I don't know. His second wife was a prostitute from Mexico City, so <sighs> this girlfriend of his could be somebody else. Anyways, these conversations were always big fights and you can imagine wherever you want. Make it as juicy as you want. <sighs> the other story I like to tell sometimes, it was a basement or the penthouse of a chief hotel. But the office that they keep us hiding in, who had so hot that the girls and me will peel off our clothes down to our underwear and work all day like that. <laughs> if one of our, the bosses upstairs was on his way down, we had a warning from one of the girls outside. <laughs> so you can imagine us, a dozen sisters stuck in some sort of Daytime, slumber party, dripping sweat, doing paperwork in our bras, her makeup melting off her faces. <laughs> Here I am with my sisters. I was a very beautiful woman. Every woman is beautiful in an old photograph. Every woman is beautiful if we look at them with tenderness. Every woman is beautiful if you don't know anything about them except their face. Most of my sisters were Mexican, but there were some white girls, and there was a Polish girl, and an Italian girl. It was okay as long as they spoke and understood Spanish. <laughs>